Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are gonna do March 26th energy. March 26th energy. Let's see what we get, okay? Let's see what we get, March 26th. <clears throat> we have trust. So basically, whatever's going on in your life right now, okay? Um, let me get that glare out of your face. Basically, okay, we have whatever situation you're dealing with, okay? A little more leeway, a little more effort. Trusting, the, to me, this is trust, trust yourself, okay? Um, it also looks like, you know, somebody wants to have a conversation here. There's passion. All right. Um, there's somebody who wants to have a hot to hot conversation, but to me, what this is telling me right off the rip is that somebody is not trusting the situation. Okay. Someone's not trusting their own gut feeling here. Um, not really sure, you know, how to proceed with something is what this is telling me. So there's definitely attraction, okay? Um, there's most definitely a connection. Maybe one wants to talk and the other one doesn't. Maybe one feels more passion than the other one. Maybe one can't trust the other one, okay? I'm not going to look at this reading and look at it like, oh, this is fantastic because it's not what it's telling me, okay? It's like... Let's dig. Tell me about trust. Because you you got to understand the way energy works. It's like this could be one of the, this could be your thoughts. It could be their thoughts. It can be a combination of both thoughts. It depends on who's all up in your energy right now. All right. So we have the 10 of pence with trust. Okay. Um, Okay, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to read reversals with this one. Ten of Pence. All right, so it's basically saying whatever's happening in your life right now, when it comes to your home, your family, your foundation, you can trust it. I do not know if this is into fruition yet. Okay, but whatever's happening in regards to your money or family life, you need to trust the situation. And that 10 is standing out to me. So I don't know within the next 10 days, one day, um, if this has already been happening within the last 10 days, somebody is gaining trust, somebody is seeing that they can trust a situation or they can trust the universe when it comes to what this is. Okay. Tell me about passion. So to me with the trust, it could be also trusting the universe to, to wherever you land, you land. Okay. Um, with passion, it's the page of cups. So it's like somebody has feelings here. Lots of passion. Okay. So I, to me, somebody's looking at somebody as stable. There's stability. It is a page. Okay. So to me, it's, it's fresh. It's fresh energy. All right. Um, so I don't know, because that's a feminine. So I don't know if the feminine's having trust issues when it comes to their path, their foundation, their work life. Because the Ten of Pence is hard to call out sometimes, whether it's talking about, regardless, it's a foundation. It's a great foundation. It can be legacies. It can be inheritances. It can be a lot of things. But considering it's with trust, it's like, can you trust, do you have enough trust in yourself? Are you passionate about your own foundation, where you're living, your setup, what's next, you know? And then you have this heart to heart that's kind of just sitting there, okay? And it's like, honestly discuss your feelings when it comes to something. So if there's a conversation that needs to be had, have the conversation. If there's a conversation that comes in, be, be true to yourself, you know? And you got the Knight of Wands, all right? 
But it's like, to me, it's the Knight of Wands that wants the conversation. But it's not happening. Okay, conversation is not taking place. So someone's thoughts right now, you got two people's thoughts. You got somebody probably focused on money and their foundation, and you got the other one focused on having a conversation. All right, so if you guys are together, you're not on the same page. The, I mean, not when one's a knight and, and one's a page, okay? But let's go one more round, okay? And I'm, I'm going to work, I'm going to work backwards. Tell me about this knight of wands. So this knight that you're not talking to, even if you're in a relationship, okay, wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Um, I don't know when that flipped, but I'm not taking it. Wants to have this conversation, okay, and it was the six of pence, so to me they're seeking grounding. All right, and it's it's the two of pence, all right, so... This is like the two the two of cups to me. It, again, it's it's grounding this situation. This is also telling me you guys have had past lives. Okay, this is not the first time that you've had a a, a lifetime with this person. Okay, um, and they do look at you as the other half, but yet nothing's being said quite yet. Tell me about the page of cups. So this page of cups, which seems to be feminine energy, is more focused on work, okay? To me, it's, it's trust what happens next, okay? King of cups. So this feminine energy is very passionate about this king of cups. But this king of cups is drinking, okay? And... I don't know if she thinks there's some type of addiction problem, you know, the hat's on the outside, so it's almost like she knows, she knows there's love there, she knows there's love, she knows a conversation's coming, she's very passionate about this masculine, but still very much focused on her foundation, and I don't know if it has anything to do, if you're aware of somebody's alcoholic addiction if there's an if there is an addiction okay um i don't know if that's a thought right now or not all right but all i know is that she's got a lot of passion for this masculine and this masculine you know knows exactly who she is and wants to have a conversation but it's not happening yet and the feminine energy is focused on her foundation so tell me about the ten of pence please So something is segregated and it's like, to me, this can also be saying that's a telepathic connection right there too. All right. And now we have the high priestess. So this is a very intuitive woman, a very spiritual woman, psychic woman. And she knows, she knows what's written in her book of destiny. You know, it is... But you also know something's coming with work on money, too. It's clear as day. It's there. Okay? So it's like, I guess it's just waiting for something to come into fruition because you, you guys are not, not talking. Um, I don't know if this is telepathic or not. This can be telepathic communication, like I just said. But to me, I don't think she's talking to him telepathically because she's not looking. And she's not looking here, either. She's focused on work, new areas of study, spirituality. She's she's trusting that something's going to fall into place. She understands this passion between two people. It's clear, you know. Um, tell me about um, King of Cups real quick. Tell me about the King of Cups. Let's see if I can get something out of this King of Cups real quick. The three of cups. So to me, this king of cups is possibly drinking, partying, dating. I am I really can't I don't feel like that's reconciliation. I feel like this person's partying, dating, you know, you got the devil at the bottom of the deck. I, I just something's not something's not right here, okay, between the two of you. Um 
I, I, I really don't look at that as reconciliation. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Two of Pence. Knight of Wands. Two of Pence. So regardless of them knowing who you are, regardless of them wanting to have a conversation, you know, so, you know, you got the Six of Wands here. So it's like, uh, this is this is travel. So I don't know if, you know, I feel like this person's going in the opposite direction, even though there's a connection. They're, they're too busy drinking. They're too busy partying, dating, doing their thing. Like, they're not focused like the feminine energy is, okay? And, and it could be ego. It could be their ego getting in the way. You know, um... Or this is them, you know, trying to think positive about the situation. Or it's them ignorant, thinking, no, you know, that the victorious at everything they do. Um, I, I think they're hoping they can deliver this message to this person and it can work out. You know, but in the meantime, why nothing's being said or done... I, I think you're dealing with a drinker. But you're not you're not focused on this person anyway. The feminine is not focused on them. And it you know I think the feminine like the feminine knows they drink or they date or you know, it's like or they know there's gonna be a reconciliation, they just don't know when or whatever. It's like this is when two people know something. But it's just not put together. So it's like silence, tension. But it's not it's not really getting the best of either of them. You know what I mean, jelly beans? To me, the universe is screaming to the feminine, trust what happens next. And it looks like it might be this person. Even though you're focused on work and your own foundation, it looks like this person's about to, you know, step in. Um, so I'm going to pull your best advice card for the feminine energy and your best advice card for the masculine. <clears throat> Stars at the bottom of the deck. Best advice for the feminine, please. Best advice for the feminine. Justice. All right, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Also standing up for your beliefs. So this is tricky, okay, because it's it's an eight. It's also like an infinity. So it's like this is not the first time you've done this with this person. So it's like to me the universe is asking you to make a fair and just decision and, and do what you know is right. So it's like to me that's more of the energy of following a soul than logic, okay. But you need both. But again, you're so damn intuitive, I don't think you're going to have a problem figuring out what direction this is going to lead you, to be honest with you, you know? So, tell me best advice for the masculine. So basically the universe is saying, trust this situation. Like, it can bring a very grounded situation. Like, but your intuition will tell you, so don't, don't worry about it. But you are dealing with somebody who feels like, because this to me is the feminine energy, thinking that this person's drinking, thinking that this person's dating, thinking X, Y, Z. So that's not infinitive answers, because that's thought. Okay, and this person's coming in, wants a conversation, got a message when it comes to this other person, you know, trying to ground a situation, and they're hoping, you know, that it's going to be successful. So best advice for the masculine. The two of fire. So it says, you're about to come into your own. It's a new partnership or a contract. Continue to move forward. All right. So it's a new direction with this feminine. So I think the universe is screaming at the feminine. You know, and then at the bottom of the deck for him, it's, it's the ten of earth. So it's like, but the feminine has a ten of earth. With the page of water, so it's like, see what I'm saying? So it's like this person, it's like the universe is saying, go in this person's direction. That page of water, the ten of earth. But it's like, I have a feeling you both know who you are to each other anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a relationship begins a new phase. 
heightened second abilities too. So it's like as spiritual as this one is or vice versa, it's like it's only going to be more prominent. But it's happy, happy home life, financial security, you know, finding the magic in little things. All right, making right, making the right decisions when it comes to this person because it's looking in that direction. And there's two people in this path, you know, so it's like this one's so focused on this one that it's almost like it's that whole energy of I don't know if I want to do this. Blockages somewhere, somehow. And then this one's coming in hoping it's going to be okay and that you guys can go in a new direction. All right, so the best advice for the feminine, again, is make the right decision. You're going to need to use your soul here for sure, you know. Um, let me just clarify. Like, there's no need for me to really clarify these ones, but I just, to me, it's going to tell me mental or soul. Tell me about justice for the feminine. Justice, please. To me, you're going to have to use your soul and trust the situation. Trust that the universe, you know, put you in this situation for a reason. You know, it's, it's a togetherness for sure. Again, high priestess. So it's like, you know, you know something. You know something for damn sure. Tell me about the tool of fire. You know, so it's like, don't lie to yourself either. Don't, you got to trust the situation. So there's something here that you're not going to want to trust. And holy shit, they got the two of fire. You guys, it's so ironic. And at the bottom of the deck is, is the ace of pens. So it's like, it's that new start. It's like a universal new start. You know, it's like, stop stressing out. It looks like there's a move for you too. But like, and then there's a two of cups. So it's like, you both for the same, you got the same answers for the same thing. You know, that this is the high priestess. Use your intuition when you make this decision. Very intuitive decision when it comes to this knight of wands. But again, going right toward you. This person's coming right toward you. They, You know, so it's like, trust what the divine is saying to you guys right now. Okay. I love you guys. Have a fantastic day, okay? And remember, at the bottom of this deck, it was the same thing. Page of water. Ten of Pence, and it was the page of water at the Ten of Pence, but this was his advice. So it's like, you both are about to have, you're both about to be on the same page. I guess it just depends on how this conversation goes and how the feminine really use their intuition here. You know, so it's mind, body, and soul. You know something, and it's deep, okay? So I wish you the best of luck, troops. All right. I love you guys so much. See you later, Gators. Bye.